Sunday Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Roy Jones, he did an interview where he talked about the Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight. But but I was a little disappointed with Roy Jones on what he had to say about that fight when he was sitting next to Pauli Malignaggi because he does a podcast with Pauli Malignaggi. For those of you guys who don't know, Pauli Malignaggi is the racist that got fired from Showtime for the racist remarks that he said on Showtime, they even gave Pauli Malignaggi an opportunity to take it back and apologize to keep his job. And Pauli, he still didn't take it back. He refused to apologize, so he got fired. Probably making history as the first color analyst to be fired for racist comments. So Roy Jones is doing this podcast with Pauli Malignaggi. Pauli, he touches on the Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight. And this is what Pauli says. And I want you to pay attention to how Roy Jones reacts or responds. You know what? I'm telling you. You know the shark is waiting for the Haney is Lomachenko. That's yep. the shark waiting for Haney. But wait I don't, minute, I don't think minute. he's going to fight Lomachenko. Wait. I don't see Haney cooperating. It's his last fight on a top rank deal. He's like, man, I ain't leaving you guys with a belt. I'm going to vacate uh, exactly. them and make my third fight on the top rank deal at 140 pounds. And you guys got to go clean up all those titles. But I got to say it. I got to say it. That's the white boy that would have beat you, Lomachenko. Mm. Okay, so. Mandatory okay, so did you see how Roy Jones reacted? How he responded? He didn't have too much to say right after Paulie Malignaggi pointed at the camera and said, you ain't going to fight that white boy, Devin. And a month later, or months later, the fight is official. And all Roy Jones said was, hey, but you still forgot about Shakur Stevenson. Now, I just want to show you another clip of what Roy Jones Jr. said when he was asked who would win that fight between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Listen to what he said. <laughs> Break it down, Roy. Thank what can, what, what can happen in that fight? The thing about that fight is, you got to realize, people, yeah. people always don't want to give Haney a chance. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember now, let's take it back. Lopez beat Loma. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Camosas beat Lopez. Beat Lopez. Yeah. Hey, whoop Lopez worse than Lopez with Loma or worse than Cambosa with Lopez. Yeah. He beat Cambosa worse than all of them. Mm -hmm. So, so far, if you look at it, he's leading Kennedy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. yes, Loma's a technical fighter. Mm -hmm. And he's one of my favorites. He's going to always be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So is Hayden. But what I do like about the fight for Hayden is that it's going to be size versus experience. Because mm -hmm. Hayden is going to be the bigger fighter. And Lopez showed that the bigger fighter is going to give Loma a problem. That's yeah. how Loma got it first. Loma was going to pick a fighter. The guy didn't make weight, and he got any beat. So we know that Loma's blueprint has been the bigger guy. Mm -hmm. is definitely a bigger guy who also can box. Can Loma go out and take all his boxing skills away from him? We don't know. But for them to say, oh, he don't have a chance, bull crap. That's a 50-50 fight. 50-50 fight. That's a size yeah. and boxing ability. Mm -hmm. Versus uh, age and boxing girls. Mm. So that's an evil fight. I mean, y'all think it's a new pick. So my question is, how come Roy Jones didn't go in depth when it comes to this Lomachenko Devin Haney fight the way he did when he just did that interview right there? The whole purpose of a podcast is to go unfiltered. It's to say whatever is on your mind. Now for Paulie, that's saying racist stuff, but hey. At least he is saying whatever's on his mind, right? But that's what a podcast is all about. But for some reason, it seems like these black boxers are terrified of racist old media. Racist like Pauli Malignaggi. Like intimidated to say what's ever on your mind. It's to speak freely. I mean, you heard Roy in the interview. He made a good point. He said, look, Lomachenko lost to Lopez. Lopez lost to Cambosis. And Devin Haney blew Cambosis out of the water. How come Roy didn't use that point when he was talking to Pauli Malignaggi? Roy said Devin Haney, he beat Cambosis worse than any of those guys had beat each other. So he's the lead candidate. Then he said it was a 50-50 fight. This video wasn't so much about what the prediction was, but it was mainly about standing up for yourself and not being afraid 
to speak your mind, even if it does go against the race fan's agenda. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. One of the most anticipated dog breedings has finally been confirmed. The pups from this pairing of Zeta and DMX will be born very soon. We are now accepting deposits. Our pups will come with ears cropped and a two-year health guarantee. Get ahead of the pack on purchasing a puppy by contacting NWA Cane Corsos on Instagram at NWA Cane Corsos. Call or text 479-326-1603 with any questions. A guard dog is your first line of defense. These will be the right pups for the job. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.